to show you the pass by. My, my, ain't that something? With walks. Five, six, seven, and a rock step, 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 and a rock step, 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 and a rock step. Now with triple steps. All right. A rock step, a triple, a triple step, a rock step, Two, a triple. Two, three, and four, five, and six. That was kind of fun. That was indeed. You can also call this the change places, the he goes, she goes. We're not really married to the name, but we're calling it the pass by for today. So, first we're going to show you the upper body dynamics. You'll notice from this camera angle that Joe is almost hiding me. Of course, it's hard with my big, broad shoulders. I know. What can you say? You're such a man. So, I step to the side. I lift my left hand, and I'm going to roll my thumb in the down position. The thumb is down. So, from here, follows. I have maintained strong fingers, and then I'm able to now realize that something's happening. So, my hand is now going to go to the far shoulder. So, that'll be Joe's left shoulder. And now that's going to go over her head. And as that happens, I'm now going to step back in Joe's way. So now I can hide Joe from the camera. That's right. So follow something that's important for me as I'm doing this. As Kevin moves out of the way, he lifts his arm. If I continue to go forward, at some point, I will either choke myself or I will turn around. And I would say, or I would recommend choosing the latter. So as I've turned, I just let my body continue through which inevitably turns me, and then there I am. Once the hand has a thumb down position, this is the exact same handhold we started with, so it just naturally turns and rotates, and you can see. Choke hold, oh. There it is. No, really. We have our back to our regular handhold. Fantastic. And to get my follow to do this, I need to move Joe. How I'm do you do that? Out of the rock step. Out of the rock step, I move Joe with forward momentum, and I've gotten myself out of the way, so now Joe does not see an obstacle, so she's willing to go there. I also relax my arm as soon as it lifts. So this is part of the dynamic frame. I use energy, energy, and then I relax it up, and then energy follows through as Joe walks through under the arm. Absolutely. That's the feeling we want to get. We want you to get with your partner. So if I do this with the just the steps, I'm going to travel a little bit more. So I'm going to go rock, step, travel, turn, travel. A rock, step. I go towards Joe a little bit more because we're only taking four steps. One, one two, two, three, four, even though we're doing it in six counts. A one, one, two, three, four, five, six. But when we do the triple steps, it's a lot easier for me to stay more in place, to anchor. Because we're taking more steps, Joe can actually... I'm able to travel significantly more. A one, two, three, and four, five, and six. Hopefully you notice that I'm maintaining my anchor point. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. So followers, I'm doing the bulk of the travel. But again, notice as we come out, Kevin and I both have a slight bend in our arms. Exactly. So now what we want you to try to do is lead and follow with your partner. You're going to practice leading the four step, the rock step, 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 or the rock step, triple, triple. So you've already learned the send out. We know you have, because we know you're doing this video progressively. Terribly exciting stuff, I must say, old chap. And again, we don't have to do the exact same footwork. Maybe Joe triples. Maybe I triple and Joe walks. No absolute rules here. Mostly we want you to stay connected to your partner and have fun.